Note to self, don't attempt to make a quick video when medicated, half blind from an eye exam, and just too lazy to put any proper effort in because of that. Otherwise, you're going to make a fool of yourself while trying to help a travel fool here. Folks, that first test was garbage. But thanks to the comments, my own Discord, and specifically at T here, this second test is going to go off without a hitch. Mostly due to me no longer being an idiot and forgetting about a major component of poison birch nut farming. That being a poison birch nut tree's ability to continuously spawn birch nutters to come to its defense beyond the usual numbers of birch nutters that they're spawning to come to their defenses. Now, Chopping a poison birch nut tree sees this happen only once per tree, but setting fire to one over and over and over again can start the process of generating never-ending birch nutters at the end of the day. Well, almost. For you see, poison birch nut trees will always eventually lose all aggro and despawn entirely given a day or so, usually less mined, and that certainly puts a damper on the whole quote-unquote infinite side of this potential farm now, doesn't it? But old up beard, we kind of already knew that, so let's question what the heck you are doing here? I see no fire, I see no fire suppression, and I see no birch nut spam. Just Wendy and Abigail and you running for your life like an idiot. Yeah, like I said, don't mind Bassbeardo there. He was a dumb dumb in that first test. No, no, no. A much better feeling Beardo is going to tell you that this is the true birch nut farm. This is the logical progression of the mechanics we kind of all knew already. If we need to constantly set fire to any poison birch nut tree we spawn and do it safely, then let's just put some distance between us using fire staffs or fiery pens. If we want to ensure that these trees stick around until they themselves naturally despawn, meaning they're going to spawn endless waves of birch nutters, then we need to be able to constantly put them out with flingomatics or water balloons. And if we want to absolutely slaughter all these endless waves of birch nutters too focused on us, are too frozen from the flingos to do anything or just too dumb to jump onto our boats then abigail is the one ticket to a massive pile of loot and trust me massive it will be especially if you kind of help the game out a little bit want at least three stacks of twigs and birch nuts per session do yourself a favor then and turn poison birch nut trees all the way up when you're ready to actually farm them they will be too rare otherwise as seen at the left there and besides you you should set up the farm by its lonesome with your own transplanted birch nut trees anyways and then go hoping for a spawn. As no, you don't really need a boat, but it is there to protect you against the nutters entirely. Birch nutters that will now be leading to everything you see before you hear. Roasted birch nuts themselves are not the worst snack in the world, honestly. Raw birch nuts are now able to be used in crock pots, meaning even better and far more efficient trail mix making. Beefalo treats are now always an option after some recent updates, if you've got the weeds to go along with it all. And yes, even our turfy needs can be met via birch nut farms if you do so please. Seriously, you'll have so many nuts, you will have no idea how to use them all. So maybe turfy? isn't a bad idea. But folks, there you have it, everyone. The actual infinite birch nut and twig farm test that a travel fool was looking for, now complete with an actual functioning beard. It's quite possibly one of the simplest, yet most loot efficient farms out there, even if it is somewhat locked behind a wall of specifics. So go give it a try. Or better yet, just set it up intentionally in order to literally give yourself a try anytime you need it. Thanks for watching, folks. Thanks to everyone who helped refine this guide. And don't you ever ignore the nuts. Bye-bye.